<laughs> hey everybody, how's it going? Well, I'm heading south to Woodburn today and uh, I've got a new client that's a car dealer, so come along. <laughs> Well, here I am at Extreme Truck Sales in Woodbird, Oregon, and I've been talking to the owner and some of these guys here for about 20 minutes about what to do. They had a whole idea they wanted neon, and I told them on the phone I don't do neon and I don't do trucks and this and that, but I guess they didn't communicate that uh, to the other guys. <laughs> so they wanted some neon letter, and I said, I don't do neon, and they're like, what? Mm, I don't do trucks, and they're like, what? But I explained to them, like, they got two seconds here because these people are driving by quick on the road here and they don't have any walk any walk by to speak of so they gotta attract their attention so we're gonna do one section it's gonna be seasonal gonna do my scarecrow the big scarecrow character holding a pile of money and he's gonna be saying in a big word balloon uh, give us a call this fall or uh, scare up a scare up a deal give us a call this fall you know and have the phone number really big because they wanted the phone number large it's gonna be in a word balloon which is black and white which is high contrast and that's gonna work and then up above high up top they want to put extreme truck sales and there's some there's some area that's painted in white and it's kind of schlocky and I said we can just we can paint over that white but it's gonna cost a little more and they said no that's okay so I'm gonna paint blue letters on one side that say extreme in the middle red and white letters to say truck really large and then on the other side blue letters again on this other white section I'm gonna try and incorporate what I'm doing with the design so that up top is gonna to say extreme truck sales and then on the one side, the left side, we got the scarecrow with the money and the phone number. And then the other side, it's going to say 100% approval or financing, something like that in red and white letters. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> I got the scarecrow laid out and I got the word save I threw that in there because that'll tie in with what I want to do in the picture and uh, I got my uh, seven inch roller out now because I'm gonna roll out the word balloon made it a lot make it a lot faster all right All right, I got the two coats of Scarecrow on, done. Got the two coats there done, the save done. And then 100% approvals, got the base coat in. So now I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attack it with the blue. I'm just gonna paint blue right over that, the word sales. All right. I got my 10 foot ladder. <clears throat> get me up here so I'm gonna write S A and then L E S so that sign over there so I want to keep the letters about to here so I'll just go like this I can't I can't trim the letters like I do on the glass because I'm painting over background so if I have to touch it up I have to come back with the white and clean up the edge but I'm gonna try and get it pretty pretty accurate so I don't have to do that
And if I mess up, I just kind of make the letter a little bigger. <laughs> Works pretty good. And I'll do another coat of the blue too. So I'll put an A there. L-E-S. It's going to be kind of tight. Maybe I'll make this... I should probably make this S bigger. And then maybe I'll do a lowercase... A lowercase A. Or now it looks like I'm going to have to make an uppercase A. A. I just kind of wing it. <laughs> Not really a sign painter. I'm more of a just a splash guy and hope it comes out. Okay. Well, I just left Sherwin Williams here in Woodburn. I'm so glad they had one here. I was running low on red, and so I had to pick that up. And uh, the color red I use from Sherwin Williams is called Real Red. It comes as red. It's a red base. And uh, I paid $27.74 a gallon for it. So I used to use the Miller Red. I used it for years. It's really good paint. It's actually more vivid than the Miller or than the Sherwin Williams paint, but it's like 43 bucks a gallon. So I'm trying out this Real Red. I've been using it for about a month now. It seems to work pretty good. I also scored a bunch of. Uh, mist tints and uh, I got them for like a dollar a dollar a quart which is great I got a lot of flesh tones and this and that but that's something to keep in mind when you're buying paint look for the mist tints for all your grays and your browns and your off colors all right back to uh, the extreme truck sales job <laughs> see you in a minute All right, I got my real red, and I'm gonna do these letters. Looks like there was a little bit wet underneath there. All right, let's speed it up now. <laughs> My leaf blower only lasts so long because it lasts about 20 minutes and it runs out of power. But fortunately they have a fan here. So I plugged in this fan and I'll just let it dry on this because yeah, it took three coats to cover this scarecrow guy, the white, so because it beat it up and stuff. So but this fan will take care of it while I'm working on some other stuff up high. Well, it's coming along pretty good. It's, the rain's coming down, but luckily I'm covered with this huge overhang. It looks like about a 14-foot overhang, which is great. Even with the wind blowing, I'm fine. So, but you can see what I got so far. Coming along, I'm going to put red inside these letters and then paint a second coat of blue over here. And then up here, I'm going to write extreme, like how I did the sails, but maybe more wild lettering. But uh, in the meantime, I'm over here on this side, and I've got like three coats of white on this and it's still, it's kind of not drying. So All right, I mixed up this really luscious green. Really bright, really vibrant. It's confident yellow and um, the splashy color, Sherwin-Williams. But I'm just gonna paint money directly on the window. 
and I was doing one coat, but you see how it's beating up, so I'll have to definitely do two coats of the green. Here's one of the mist tint quartz I just bought for a buck. It's perfect for this guy. So I didn't have to mix up a color for it. Well, I'm battling with this, uh, these colors. This green got a couple coats, but I don't think I'm gonna do a third coat. I'm just gonna do the black over it because I could be here forever trying to cover all those stuff. And then this, I've got this, uh, this is another one of those uh, dollar a quart mist tints I bought, this beautiful gray. And I'm going to use this for the, the outline and the shadow on this white. It's going to be so pretty. And this will dry a little bit darker. Like always, the colors dry a little bit darker, but this will create a really subtle beautiful shadow for the scarecrow's hand holding the money. Okay, I got all the colors laid in across the whole thing. Got all this done. And over here, I just got to do the black now. He came out pretty good. <laughs> He's going to be even better when I get that black on him. And then it'll really pop. Well, I saved the best for last. I'm working on the scarecrow and his face. When I do that, it'll come alive. So let me get some uh, GoPro shots of me working on this, this fella. All right, let's get to it. Okay, I'm wrapping it up. I got it all done on this rainy Friday in Woodburn, Oregon. <laughs> I love the rain though. It's so refreshing. As long as I'm covered with an overhang, I am happy. <laughs> and it was warm out, so. But uh, anyway, so this is the final touch. All right. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. 
and uh, hanging out with me. I love making videos for you guys. I love when you come by and I feel like you guys are all hanging out with me. I have almost 2,000 subscribers now, so it's almost like I have an audience of a couple thousand people watching me while I'm doing this. So yeah, I also, I always anticipate doing that. Oh, look at the cars. Look what they did. Oh, that's trippy. Wow. That's pretty neat. Hey, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me again, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. I'm painting a game, now the cars are here, ah, it's always the same, so colorful and wonderful, I'm singing, singing in the rain. <laughs> that was impressive. <laughs>